we go. This is my second time re recording this video. This is a video of a record generating machine. It doesn't actually generate the records from scratch. You do have to catch the monsters, but it's the only way I could think of to actually do it. So in this room, you catch a skeleton. You get him to come in here, bait him. It's pretty easy. Try not to get hit so much. <laughs> Then you back through this door and you flip this switch when he's inside and he gets captured. Sometimes he gets stuck here on this door. If you shoot him with an arrow, they get freed and they'll hop right in. Creepers get stuck almost every time, but same thing here. This is the creeper door. Bait the creeper in, lock him in, shoot him if he gets stuck. Okay. Now this switch was going to control inner doors which would let them in but it didn't work out so well so I just made the middle open so that they can walk through it. This is the redstone that uh, controls it all. It's pretty simple. This is a typical double door gate. You get a signal, send it to this torch. So this is the lever, it's right above here. This torch controls the door right there. So it gets turned on when this lever gets turned off, and then it sends this on signal, this off signal, turns to on, and it sends this on signal to this, which closes this door. And since this is a double door, these have to be the opposite, otherwise it won't work properly because one of the double doors is considered open and the other one is considered closed. So that is an inverter, it inverts the, it inverts this torch's output, makes it the wrong one, so it'll turn off. And that door will close and it's the same thing on the other side and then this was supposed to control the doors that don't work because the monsters can't get through them without getting hit I'm gonna try double doors later but for now you just have to do without them so I'm just gonna pause the video here and wait till night and then I'll show you guys me catching a skeleton and a creeper and putting them in Alright, it is now nighttime. Pick up my little artwork there. <laughs> Nothing better to do but shoot a wall. Whoops, that was accidental. Ham. Mm. Alright, so we need a creeper and a skeleton. A zombie we do not need. But I do want your feathers. Don't hurt me. Oh, that was close. All right, so if I uh, right after I catch this guy, I'm just gonna pause it so that you guys don't have to wait while I look for uh, a creeper. Last time I recorded this, it took me a couple of minutes to find one. So get in here. Oh, you dumb skeleton! Why are you such a retard? There you go. And stay in there. That was a little bit less clean than I would have liked. And anyways, as you can see, he can get in that little hallway and walk down to where he's supposed to be. So now I'm just gonna pause it. Unless I, can, I think that might be a creeper up there, so. Maybe not. No, it's a zombie. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and I will Start it again when I find it. Okay, I caught a creeper. Yeah, it took a while to find one, but I finally caught him. Okay, so I shot him once with an arrow to get him through that door he got stuck on. And then he's in here. I need to shoot him one more time and then hit him once with a diamond sword. So that's one hit with an arrow. This is a murder hole. He will not attack me through it, so he won't blow up in my face. Thank God. So now I just walk up here. They both come on in the middle. I walk down the middle. And this is it. The moment of truth. If everything works correctly, the skeleton will shoot him and I will get a record. And there it is. That was easy.
jerk hit me. So as you can see, I got another record. There it is in my inventory. I already have a whole bunch because I did this five times to see if, if there were more types, but there aren't. There are only those ones as far as I can tell. So there's only two types of records. You should take no time to get them both. That's it. This pig's an idiot. I don't know how the heck he got in here, but he's got to go. Probably through that hole. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys make your own. And if you need help, I can always make a tutorial. Just let me know.